you don't breathe, you don't move. And so by moving and breathing, um, you are alive. And by giving yourself this exercise um, uh, uh, on, a, on a daily basis, um, you are, you are um, strengthening your lungs, strengthening your muscles and, and, and moving your body. Um, and, and one of the things I want to emphasize, it's not something that you have to do for four hours a day. I mean, you know, 10, 15 minutes a day of, of the exercise um, is the, the benefits are just, are just enormous uh, for, your, for, your, for your body. Uh, the other pet peeve I have is kind of the separation between yoga and Tai Chi. Um, uh, there's, there's this, seems as if there are these two worlds, people who study yoga and people who, who study Tai Chi. Um, if you really drill down into what yoga is, is all about, um, it's postures and it's breathing. Tai Chi is postures and breathing. Um, and I think the, the similarity, there's much, many more similarities um, between, between the two practices um, than differences. Although people said, well, you know, I, I'm a yoga teacher. I'm not a Tai Chi. It's, it's just, and so that's the, other, that's the other barrier. I'm trying to bring these modalities together because they are all so important for, for our bodies um, and, and, and our minds. Um, one, one of the things I talk about in my class with uh, uh, Gilda's Club, there's a huge mind-body connection between your health and your disease. Um, and um, one, of the, one of the metaphors or one of the stories I tell, if you talk to any super um, uh, successful uh, sprinter, uh, the, the, the world-class sprint, the Olympic world-class sprinters, and ask them, what are they thinking and doing when they're in the blocks? And you know, you're in the blocks, you've got your feet back and you're down and your hands are down and, you're, and, 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 and the starter has, has the gun. They are visualizing and they'll tell you very really, they are visualizing in their mind, their bodies, their chest, going through the tape and winning. They are, they are, they're putting their mind at the end of the, at the end of that hundred yard dash, 200 yard dash, I'm not going to use sprinters, but, but even other athletes do that. So the state of the mind is so important for, for your body because the, the, the mind directs the body and they, they visualize that. Um, and so that's what that's that that's why we off, so often talk about this mind body connection um, in, in in tai chi and you'll hear me talk a little bit about this when we do want, when we do some of the exercises. Um, now the other thing I want to sort of break down for you is um, uh, tai chi is um, a martial art. Um, we don't really teach it as a martial art, but every single posture um, has um, a, a, a specific application um, for, for defense. Uh, tai Chi is what's called an, an internal martial arts. It's not Kung Fu, it's not Jiu Jitsu. Those are arts that go out where you're, where you're dealing with an opponent. Tai Chi is always about the, the, the opponent coming at you and you giving in um, uh, and, and, and letting them move away. Um, but we, we, we learn these postures, not for the, for the uh, um, martial component, but we learn them for the health benefit that they, that they provide. In Tai Chi, there are also a number of different forms or dances. So those, those in Western society know that we do the foxtrot, we do the waltz, we do the jitterbug, those are all dances. Um, and so in Tai Chi, we have, we have a, a sun, sun style, we have Yang style, we have Wu style. There are about eight different, depending on how you look at it, about eight different dances. And what I studied uh, 30, 35 years ago was Yang style short form, which is 37 postures that are linked together um, that we do um, as a dance. And the idea is that when people learn Yang style short form, um, and we do that as a group. There's a group energy, um, as well as our own body being exercised, there's a group energy uh, that manifests itself. Uh, now, the person who brought um, uh, young style, Y-A-N-G, young style Tai Chi to America was a, a, a Chinese um, uh, 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 master named Cheng, uh, uh, Cheng Man Ching. So I uh, hope, let's see, yeah, you can, hopefully you can see that. Um, uh, Cheng Manqing brought this to China in the, uh, uh, in the 60s, I think 50s, late 50s, early, early 60s, to New York City. And um, he uh, brought this, this form, and the form had 108 postures. 
um, and it was young style long form. And he found that Americans, unlike Chinese, have a kind of a small attention span, um, and that uh, you know if he could modify the 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 young style form to a little bit more manageable uh, period of time, that maybe he would get more Americans to do uh, do this exercise and bring the health um, benefit health uh, benefits to their bodies that this exercise provided provided him. So he took really the best elements and it's always debate about he left this part of the long form out or that part of the long form out. Um, but he brought the best elements of, of uh, Tai Chi um, to the young style short form. And that is um, what what we um, uh, what I'm teaching and what we what we what we've learned. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is there are really only three, the, the three components to learning uh, Tai Chi. Uh, one, you, you need a book. Um, this book by uh, Cheng Nan Ching um, has um, an explanation of all the postures um, in it. So you can, you can, you can see the various, the various postures um, and how they're all connected together. Uh, you need a teacher. Um, and you need a, uh, um, a video. Um, and so if any of you want to get serious, um, and I'm not expecting any, anybody to get serious, if anybody wants to get serious, those and, and want to learn the form, uh, those are really the three tools that you need. Yeah, and you the book cover again, please. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, and then, um, so, just if, if you're if you're you know, if, if someone you know gets motivated to to really want to learn learn the form those those are the three things and I've been teaching off and on for thirty years um, uh, Tom Wong was my teacher and then I started teaching and what we um, um, and I'm not teach, running any classes now except at, at Gildas I'm doing the class at Gildas and, and we're just going very very slowly um, but what I'm um, uh, but it takes ten weeks to learn the first third of the form. 10 weeks to learn the second third of the form and 10 weeks to learn the last third, 30 weeks. Um, and, and that just gets you to knowing the dance. Uh, there are so many nuances and, and specific things uh, about it. Um, so I just, I just kind of wanted to put this, uh, put this in context. The last, the, the other thing I wanted to show you is um, there's, a, there's a book um, by Lawrence Galante um, and, and Cheng Man Ching, the, uh, teacher I just showed you um, had probably a hundred I don't know, uh, disciples. That's that's a little that's a little heavy. But people that studied with him for years and years and years, um, and of all I have hundreds of hundreds of books on on Tai Chi, and um, uh, this this is the best. Um, other Cheng Man Ching's book is the pictures are good, but it's a little hard to access. This is much more of a uh, of a of a Western of a Western style um, explanation of the postures and and how it how it works. Um, and um, so, again, I think this book is still available um, on an Amazon, or you can you can you can get it. But I, I really, um, if you're you know, we kind of we kind of collect this book because he's the teacher that we study under. But this is the one that really opens opens the door and so i want to read something from here before i uh, before we start a little exercise i don't want to take too much time reading um but but i, I was it, it sort of emphasizes what what's important about tai chi um both physical and breathing exercises breathing exercises uh in traditional chinese medicine are called jikong exercises have uh traditionally been acknowledged in Chinese medicine, medicine as effective curative and preventative treatments against disease. Examine the very word disease, dis-ease, the absence of ease. When there is tension, dis-ease in the body, it is not functioning properly. Muscles, blood vessels, glands, and meridians all malfunction and sickness is the result. Tai Chi Wan teaches the ancient elixir of life, namely relaxation, relaxation for better health and longer living. Physical exercises. Physical exercises improve muscle tone and stimulate the heart, mus heart. Muscles and tendons can be stretched for greater flexibility and suppleness. Meridians can also be stretched. And those are the traditional Chinese medicine acupuncture. And you can believe it or not. So you can drop that out if you, if you do. 
This allows for improved circulation of the blood and chi. Dr. George Goodhart discovered that there is a direct relationship between weak muscles and energy imbalance in the meridians related to those muscles. When Tai Chi is performed daily, it strengthens the heart, massages the liver, kidneys, and internal organs, stretches the meridians, and strengthens the muscles related to them. The different postures of Tai Chi form are designed to benefit the different organs in your body. For example, single whip is designed to help the lungs. Brush knee helps the lower di uh, digestive tract and stomach, etc. cetera. Um, um, so all of this is about your health, all of these exercises and this form. The last thing I wanna read um, and we're gonna do one of these exercises and I'll explain it in just in a little bit. In the last few years, new discoveries have been made related to the thymus gland. Now, do you, do you, I don't know if you like how on top of it you are if your thymus gland, but your thymus gland is, 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 is located right in at your breastplate here, right behind um, uh, where your, your uh, uh, ribs come together here. And actually, if you feel in this area, you'll find what we call an exquisitely tender spot. Um, over here, it's not tender over here. I, I mean, I can find my spot. That is your direct acupuncture spot to your thymus gland. The thymus gland is largely responsible for the immunological surveillance system in our body. That's where the T cells are manufactured. That's where, and the T cells are the cells that fight cancer, that fight viruses, that fight um, uh, um, any infections, bacterial infections and viral infections that we get. This is, it, it, your thymus gland is where, where those cells are, are, are created. This means um, that the thymus gland is responsible for ridding the body of foreign germs and infections, which if left unchecked would cause illness and disease. Lymphocytes, white blood corpuscles are formed in the bone marrow. They then travel to the thymus gland where they mature and travel to the lymph nodes and the spleen. They, they, there they give rise to uh, uh, T cells, thymus derived cells, thymus, um, uh, um, so the, um, I, I, the point I wanted to make is that particularly with COVID, um, and with what we're all experiencing, um, having that very strong immune system, uh, and, 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 and having that thymus gland producing, uh, and, and sending those T cells out, those are our warrior cells. Um, they're the ones, I mean, our body properly, uh, exercised, properly, fed, properly rested, properly um, uh, 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 chilling out from time to time, um, uh, can, can withstand a tremendous amount of, of, of assault from bacteria and viruses and others. But what do we do in our world? We live in a very fast moving world. Tracy had a whole bunch of stuff today and I had stuff today and, and, um, uh, and we don't take the time. So I just wanted to take a few minutes to, to I mean, hopefully I've just demystified this a little, um, um, uh, uh, before we actually start uh, on some of the exercise. The last thing I want to say um, is that um, there have been a couple interesting studies about Tai Chi. Um, about 10, 15 years ago, Emory University studied women over 55 who had been studying Tai Chi. I don't know why they didn't study men, but they studied women over 55 who had done Tai Chi for six months and then they did their longitudinal study out. They had a significant drop in falls. The, the, the way that Tai Chi changes your center of gravity, moves your balance down to your, your, your below your belly button to your Dantian, all that awareness um, is, is um, uh, and so as we all know, as women age um, and they fall, um, it, it's just awfully difficult to recover. So if you can just stop that process of falling um, and, and not break a shoulder or break an arm or break a hip. Um, and so this, and this was a Western allopath, allopathic medicine study by Emory University uh, Medical School on women who, 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 who studied this. Uh, I'll give you one other uh, factoid that, that's really fascinated me. Um, about a year ago, the New York Times um, had a study, had a story out about um, uh, people falling. 
and in the in the story it talked about how tai chi and even yoga um were just powerful tools to help um uh, avoiding uh, avoiding fall, falls <laughs> and so here are the two factoids women fall at a pretty significantly higher rate than men do over 55 but men who fall over 55 die a significantly higher rate than women. So women fall, more women fall, but they don't die. Fewer men fall, but when they do, they die. So that got the attention of the men in my class about, uh, oh my God, well, I mean, it's like, so the outcome's an awful lot worse if you if you fall. And they had a whole, whole bunch of other things about how to uh, uh, prepare your house. Tracy, I will send you, I've got a, um, uh, uh, that story on a uh, I took a picture of it. I'll send that to you. It's fascinating about what you could do, you know, for people over 55, what you need to do in your house, move extension cords and, you know, just oh, things to do uh, um, as we, as we age. I definitely but, need that. Yeah. Yeah. So enough yammering away. So what, what, I, what I'd like it to do, hold on, I'm in my chair out here. Get set up. Okay. Let me bring this down a little bit more. There we go. Um, okay, so um, um, in the beginning, what we're going to do is just we're going to stand up um, and, and don't have a lot of tension in your knees. And we're going to have our arms at our side. And we're just going to uh, have our arms. off my hip. We're just going to have our arms turning our waist. And all of this is gentle. All of this is easy. We're not, we're not going to do anything aggressive. And when you're doing this, you want to tap your kidneys back here with the back of your hand, just a little percussion. We call this kidney percussion. Kidneys are a very important organ. Um, uh, the urogenital system is an incredibly important part of our whole body system and having that. And by this little tap with the back of my hand on my kidney, I'm stimulating my kidney, giving it a little attention. One other thing I want to bring your attention to is we always breathe through our nose in Tai Chi. Never breathe. I mean, if you, you know, if you get overwinded, you can breathe through your you can breathe through your uh, mouth. The reason we breathe through our nose is, as you know, you've got in your nose nostrils you've got these little hairs, cilia. Um, they act as an additional filter for um, stuff that's coming into our lungs. So by breathing through our nose. Uh, we are filtering, having at least another little filter with that cilia, uh, pulling, getting little particles and stuffs that hopefully don't, don't reach our lungs. The other thing we do is we put our tongue at the top of our palate, just at the top of our, just behind our front teeth. Uh, and there's a long reason, there's a long explanation as to why we do that, but it, it deals with the, the flow of chi in our body, which is the life force. Um, and again, I don't want to get too much into, into traditional Chinese medicine and the Dantian where the chi is made and, and all of that, but, but that's just an important part. But I do want to bring your attention to when you have the tongue at the top of your palate and you are breathing through your nose, you will notice just the creation of extra saliva in your mouth. It doesn't happen to everybody, but generally you'll, you'll notice you'll have a little more spit in your mouth. Well, swallow that spit. Uh, 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 um, there was a medical study of the content of that spit in your mouth. It is loaded with T cells. So you're just, your, your saliva glands are uh, pushing out T cells, which you're then distributing by swallowing into your stomach and into your body. And again, your T cells are your warrior, warrior cells. Now, now we're going to take our arms and we're just going to go up on our shoulder with, with, with our, the, the front of our hand on our shoulder. It's a little bit of a, of a, of a shoulder. It's this easy. And we're trying to get a little tap on our shoulder, uh, particularly all those muscles that hold our neck up. We have a tendency to have our shoulders up high and everything's all tense, particularly at the end of the day, Tracy, right? You know, we're just coming home, like, like all just trying to loosen those up, just loosen those shoulders. Okay. So that's the, the sort of the first little, little warm up that, that we do. We're just kind of getting our, 
our, uh, our middle area loosened up. Uh, and now what we're going to do is what's called the eight pieces of brocade or the eight precious exercises. Um, and uh, in between each exercise, we do what is called a clearing. Uh, at the beginning of the eight pieces of brocade, uh, we do three clearings. And at the end of the eight pieces of brocade, we do three clearings. And by the way, the Chinese have one of the beautiful things about the Chinese culture is they call it eight pieces of brocade, eight precious, and, uh, single whip, and, and they have all these great uh, um, park wild horses, mane, all these, the names of each posture has a name that's just very precious. Um, and eight pieces of brocade, you know what brocade is on a, on, 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 on a um, suit or whatever. Military. Um, so, so we we we're gonna we'll do the the clearing, and when we do the clearing, um, we're going to uh, the first one we're gonna do it for our mind and just think about re relax our mind. Next for our body, and the next for our spirit, my soul, mind, body, and spirit. So we we'll put our hands in front of us. We bend our knees. Inhale. and our spirit. So the first exercise, we put our hands, um, our, our feet, our heels are kind of like this, it's hard to kind of see my heels, um, our, our, but we're not wide open, we're not tight, we're just, just kind of comfortable with our, with our feet. Um, our hands are in front of us, my knees are relaxed, I, I bend my knees a little and my hands are gonna rotate and go up to the sky and then they're going to come down. Breathing as I open up, exhaling as I come, as I compress. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Breathing and moving, that's all we're doing. We're alive. All easy, all gentle, don't push anything. This is not high impact aerobics. This is gentle on our bodies. And last one, inhale and exhale. We'll do one clearing, inhale and exhale. And one other thought, depending upon where you are with, with, with yoga and with other traditional Indian um, modalities, one, one thing you can conceive of is just clearing your chakras from your top of your head in, in, in uh, yoga, you have the chakras, you can just, this is a great clearing of the negative energy, just to, as you're doing this, this, this clearing, just let that negative energy, all that stuff that's just been building up all day, just let it go. And I bring in Native American culture, just give it to Mother Earth. Mother Earth can take, she can take all of this crap we've had all day long, now we're just going to just, just, just get rid of it. It's not doing any good in your body. It's not doing any good in your head. Just let it go. Uh, next exercise is um, um, we're going to put our left, for men, the left hand is on the top, uh, uh, right hand is on the bottom. For women, it's a long reason as to why this is. Right hand is on the top, left is on the bottom. And our, our thumbs are opposed. Our, our shoulders are relaxed, our elbows are relaxed. We're going to turn our head to the left and our eyeballs to the left. We're actually exercising our eyeballs and we're going to exhale and come back to the center. To the right.
breathing through our nose, tongue at the top of our palate. We're actually exercising our eyeballs off to the right with those eyeballs. Whoever exercises their eyeballs. And last one to the right. And a clearing. Next exercise, we're gonna open up our legs a little bit, not horse stance, but just, just, just sort of about shoulder width. And we're gonna roll over one vertebrae at a time and go down to our toes. And we're gonna bend our knees if we need to, to touch our toes. Come up, inhale, and exhale. And again, don't push this. Inhale, coming up as we're expanding and exhale. Breathing through our nose. And last one. And we do the clearing. Inhale. And exhale. Next exercise, um, we're going to put our left hand um, over our right part of our chest. The left, the right hand goes here. It's out on the outside. We have a little bend in our knees, and our left hand is going to go to the sky and our right hand is gonna to go to the earth. This is a cross lateral stretch. You should feel you know, a cross lateral stretch across your back. Now the right hand comes inside and it's gonna to go to the sky. Exhale, inhale. Exhale. Again, coordinating that breathing, when you're expanding out your breathing, when you're contracting your exhale. Breathing is such an important part of yoga, it's such an important part of Tai Chi, it's such an important part of life. We have a tendency to take such short, shallow breaths in the West. We don't fill up our lung capacity and bring all of that oxygen in and then expel all of the old air. Breathe way high up here. By the way, this eight precious or eight pieces of brocade takes about 10 minutes a day. So you can't find 10 minutes. I'm taking a little longer because I'm explaining stuff, but it's about a 10 minute process. And last one to the right. Clearing. The next exercise is we're gonna do what we call our horse stance, which is double shoulder width, kind of like you're riding a horse um, uh, and sinking, in, uh, sinking into those thighs, bending the knees. You're gonna take your left arm, you're gonna have it out and that left index finger is gonna be up. You're gonna turn your waist to the left. It's important to get that waist around. There's a tendency not to 
and you're going to inhale when you pull the bowstring across your chest, just like you're an archer, pulling the bowstring. Now compress the energy between your hands. Keep those elbows dropped. Now turn to the right, right index finger out, pull the bowstring across that chest, inhaling. Exhaling, elbows dropped, shoulders relaxed now, waist to the left. And last one to the right. All right, Clary, inhale. And exhale. Next exercise, we're gonna hang over our pelvis um, our, our little bit uh, uh, horse stance, a little bit more of a wide open stance. We're going to have our shoulders and arms relaxed and we're going to rock to the left and we're going to come back, back around to the right. And we're, we're rocking on our pelvis. That's our center of gravity in Tai Chi. Rocking to the right, coming around to the left. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale, exhale, Keep those arms dropped and relaxed. And last one to the right, coming around to our left. Whew. It's always a big one when you're moving this area here. Clearing, inhale. Now I told you this is the eight pieces of brocade, um, but I've, uh, ad I've amended it to a little addendum because there's an exercise that, a silk ribbon exercise that I think is so important and it's for the needs. We'll pull this down just a little so you can see. Um, uh, and so we're, gonna, we're going to put our right foot forward. Our left foot's gonna be at a 45 degree angle. We're gonna take our right knee and we're gonna, and we're gonna massage it clockwise. And we're going to use our hands to just loosen up the ligaments and the tendons that hold our knees in. We, we walk on concrete all day. Um, you know, thousands of years ago, humans never walked on concrete. They walked on dirt and grass. Maybe they walked on some rocks, but generally they didn't have the abuse. Uh, and so just loosening our knees up, I've added, the, I've just added this because I think it's so important. It's all easy. Now we're going to reverse and go counterclockwise. Or as my friend David Llewellyn from England says, anti-clockwise. I never knew that until David joined us. Just easy, gentle massage. This is all self-massage, bringing uh, blood to those uh, tendons and ligaments and, and loosening those muscles up. Okay, now we're gonna put our left leg in and do the same thing, clockwise. And I just add this. I get out of bed in the morning, and I, this is the very first thing I do before I start. I, um, I just get out of bed. Actually, I, that's not true. I start my hot water for my green tea, and then I start. I do this um, just to get make sure I loosen up. Now, reverse, go counterclockwise. 
you'll see when we're done with the eight pieces of brocade that we will have exercised all the muscle groups in our body and loosened everything up. Okay, now we're gonna put our legs together, a little bit of a squat, and we're gonna go clockwise. And here we're getting a little ankle rotation as well as massaging our knees. Now reverse direction, go clockwise. I'm assuming counterclockwise. Remember where I am. Okay, now we're gonna open our legs up. I call this the Tai Chi Charleston. We're gonna go in and out. More rotation in our ankles and our legs. and reverse direction and go out and come in. Okay, now we're gonna stand on our left foot and we're just gonna shake out our right foot. Just kind of shake it out. Just we're loose from our hip all the way down. We're just shaking it out. Now we're gonna stand on our right foot. And we're gonna shake out our left foot. All right. Again, that's not one of the eight pieces of brocade. It's the little addition that I've, that I've added because I think it's such a great, uh, uh, important one for our, our uh, knees. Uh, clearing. The next exercise, we're gonna, we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna uh, go up on our toes. Our hands are gonna rotate up like this and then drop literally drop. And this exercise, we are actually exercising our internal organs, our spleen, our lungs, our gallbladder, everything's bouncing inside. We're bouncing our, our organs. Um, when do you ever exercise your internal organs uh, as well as, as your muscles? This is also a really good one. You got some stuff that's negative, that's living in your head. Just let it go. Just take it up there and drop it. Again, I, I use all sorts of different customs, Native American, yoga, Indian. Just, I, I love dropping all my negative stuff uh, into mother. I just, I just, I just get rid of it, you know. She's strong, she sure can handle it. Just, uh, sure can handle it. And one more, all right, clearing. And the last exercise, we're gonna go uh, um, sh uh, horse stance, sh double uh, shoulder width, above shoulder width, horse stance, kind of like, and we're gonna have our hands in front of us. We're gonna take our hands, they're gonna go in front of us up to the sky. We're gonna open up, this is a big move. Our heart chakra is opening way up here. We're gonna go down to the river. We're gonna scoop up the water, bring the water up to our lips and exhale, inhale. And only go down as far as your knees and your back will take you. There's nothing to prove here. Opening up, inhale, big inhale, fill those lungs. Now we're compressing, exhale as we go down to the river. Inhale as we come up and exhale. Coordinating that breathing, opening up, big breath. Down to the river to scoop up the water. Inhale. Also, anytime you're opening your heart chakra up like this can be very, feel very vulnerable. And that's, you know, it can be a little unsettling, but that's, you know, vulnerability and opening your heart chakra and bringing that air into your lungs is so vital. And last one. All right, now we'll do this clearing three times for our mind, body, and spirit.
All right. So I want to do two more exercises, um, uh, and then we'll, uh, uh, I guess uh, Tracy said your class ends at seven. We'll leave it just a few minutes for questions or any other comments that people want to make. But I, I, we, in the Gildas Club, uh, we've added two other exercises that we feel are really important because of COVID, uh, trying to keep our immune system as strong as possible. So at least if we do, uh, and, you know, we're, we're vaccinated now and moving further on, I'm fully vaccinated. And, but uh, I, I, I still think it's important to keep our immune system. Uh, you know, we can still get the virus even with, with the uh, vaccination. It just means we don't die or end up in the hospital. And, and, but, but, but if our immune system is strong, and you know, the single m most major point of entry is through our nose. So keeping that mask over that nose comes in uh, grows in our sinus system, drops down into our lungs, and then once it gets into our lungs and it's deep in our body, that's when the crap really happens. I mean, that's 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 where the, the bad is, because once it's deeper, you, you can just get rid of it or at least minimize it up here, um, but it, it, it works its way, the, the, uh, the virus works its way down. So the exercise we're going to do is a horse stance. This is the we call the thymus thump. This is a silk reeling qigong exercise that activates the thymus. We're going to hold our arms out um, uh, to either side, and with our right hand, we're going to come and our right thumb, we're going to do three little bumps in that deliciously tender place that I mentioned in, the, in, in our thymus gland. One. And this is just a gentle little bump. Just all we're doing is just tapping, just telling that thymus gland, you know, we're just giving it a little bit of energy. Do this seven times, four. Five, six, last one with the right hand. Now the left hand, three little taps right on that little acupuncture point. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and last one on the left. Now just gently lower your hands and we'll do one clearing here. And the last exercise I wanna do is um, a, a one that increases the capacity and, and, and it stimulates and exercises your lungs. In Tai Chi, um, the uh, fundamental posture uh, for Tai Chi is what's called the bow stance. So we're going to take our right foot and we're going to put it, let's see if I can get, get this down. Um, no, we're going to put our right foot straight out and our left foot is going to be at a at a 45 degree angle. Um, it's not going to be like that. It's not going to be. It's a 45 degree angle, and we're not wide open. We're not tight. Just just comfortable um, with our with our feet. Um, the bow stance is is um, is a component of every single posture in the form. So with our right our right foot is forward. Our left foot, foot is at a 45 degree angle, and 70 percent of the weight is on our right foot and 30 is on our left foot. Um, uh, um, and so, and then the other important thing is our hips are facing straight north. I mean, it's assuming this is north, it's straight forward. If you notice, if you take your hips and you have your belly button facing straight forward um, and, you, and you just shift your hips to the left, it takes the tension out. Your body does not like to work, it cheats. So it's gonna, it's gonna try and trick you into shifting your belly button, um, your, your hips this way versus this way, because this is where your thigh is getting the exercise. You are weighted properly. 70% of your weight is on your right foot. 30 is on your left. Um, and from our belly button, just below our belly button is what we call our Dan Tien, which is where our pot belly stove is that makes our chi. In, the, in traditional Chinese medicine. But if you don't believe that, it is your center of gravity. So you're, you're rooted and everything above, um, your, your dantian is, is two inches below your belly button and three inches in. Everything below that is rooted and, and firm. Everything above that is loose. 
just all relax from every from your up here. Arms are relaxed, shoulders. Shoulders. You know, there's this tendency to raise our shoulders. Uh, so in this exercise, 70% of the weight's on the right. Hips are facing straight forward. Belly button's forward. And we're going to take our arms and we're going to take them up. I'm going to open them up just like we did before wide. And then we're going to lean for, Now all the weights now, 70% is on the left foot. We've gone back. And then we're going to come forward and drop. And just let our arms drop. Bring the arms up. And drop it. Bring the arms up and drop it. You're expanding your, your, your chest capacity, your chest cavity, opening all that up. And one more. Okay, now we're gonna put our left foot in forward. It's gonna be facing straight. Right foot's at a 45 degree angle, not too wide, not too tight. So when you're comfortable, again, those hips, the hips here are gonna to pull to the right. If you pull your hips to the right, mm, that's easier. Your body's gonna try and move you over that way because it's looking for path of least resistance. It doesn't like to exercise. Get those hips forward. Arms are down, 70% of the weight's on the right. Now the weight comes all the way back to the, uh, excuse me, on the left to the right. Now it goes to the left, sorry. All the way up. Drop, all the way up, drop, all the way up, drop, all the way up, drop, and one more. <clears throat> okay, and we'll do one clearing. All right. Well, I'm trying to be mindful of your time and uh, don't know if there are any uh, questions. So that's the eight pieces of brocade. Um, we really didn't get into uh, doing the form and, and Yang Shao short form. And Tracy, I'm glad to come back and uh, if, if, if the class has an interest in, in, in seeing that. But I wanted to get a really uh, good basic, as you can see, everybody, um, these are very easy. This is, this is, this is not magic. Um, and and, and uh, these eight pieces of brocade are a um, easy thing to do. I, I extended it out a little, but you can get it done in 10, in 10 minutes and uh, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, you do that each day and then do the thymus thump uh, to activate that thymus gland and then the opening of the uh, lung capacity. Again, uh, this COVID thing is respiratory um, and uh, having uh, well, uh, strong lungs is critical and then having that thymus gland uh, pumping out those warrior cells um, is key. So I'll answer any questions you might have. Um, Tracy's put my cell phone number and my email address uh, on the on the chat. I'm glad to anybody have any questions. Um, and uh, so, well, Chip, that was just fantastic. I know everybody enjoyed it. I, I know several of the folks have done Tai Chi before, but if not uh, practiced in a while, Bernadette, what'd you think? It was a good workout. Oh. Um, so. <laughs> you're sweating a little bit i'm sweating a little bit yeah. that's great and you brit and you're doing a little breathing too yep good uh, so glad for you brunette you, is there um is there ever music involved with this like when you do tai chi by yourself do you have a soundtrack or is it mostly I, in quiet it's I, some practitioners do use music i don't I use it um, um, as a meditative experience mm -hmm. where I just, and one of the, one of the rules in Tai Chi, so I, uh, thoughts and ideas come to you. you. You can't help that. We just try not to hold on to them during our, our uh, doing the form or doing our eight pressures. Just let the ideas come. Okay, I've got an appointment tomorrow. Oh, my dentist's appointment tomorrow. Oh, it's there. Then you let it go. Mm -hmm. we, we so take ideas and this, you know, start ruminating on them and thinking. So, um, and so I use it as just as, as quiet time, not to really think about anything other than just, just the feeling my body move. And, and, and I, I really try to concentrate on the breathing, um, the contracting when you're contracting, you're exhaling, 
opening up your inhaling. That, that breathing is such a key. Um, Dr. Andrew Weil, who's an allopathic um, uh, alternative medicine, talks about that, that, that we, just, we, we just have such a tendency in Western society to breathe so shallow and high up here, not that deep belly breathing where you're just clear, you know, clearing your lungs out. And it's, it's uh, just something we've, we've lost. Same thing with walking. I do a Tai Chi walking um, exercise also where we take our center of gravity, which is up here in Western society and drop it down below our belly button. And, and, and again, when you start doing that, um, your stability, your ability to, to, to not, like when I get out of the shower, um, I have a little, a little thing I go over. You know, you have the little uh, the shower thing outside there. So I, I sink down and I, I put my, my right foot out. I don't commit, when, my, when I go out of the shower, I don't commit that right foot to that spot until I know, I, I, I feel it with my foot. Then I, then I put my, okay, the rug's not going out from under me or there's no water there. Or there's, and and, and it's, it used to be a conscious thing. Now I just like, I sink and I go and I, I just don't, and, and I get out of my car in the winter and I see black ice, I put my foot, I put my foot out the door. I don't commit my weight to that until I know that this is a stable, stable place. Um, so the Tai Chi creates this mindset of, of sinking into the ground weight, sort of stability. Mm -hmm. um, and, 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 you know, I'm just telling you this Emory study showed that it yeah. had a tremendous reduction in falls. I, uh, pasted the Emory study into oh, thank you. the chat. Well, I, I have a couple of participants, you know who you are, who always want to read the study, Jessica. <laughs> That's great. No, no, I, we I, I just hope we have, we have an awesome group. We really yeah, no, I just hope uh, the more and more that we, that we demystify this and get to the, uh, you know, what's interesting. Um, I, I've, I've done Tai Chi with ballet dancers uh, mm -hmm. and they just all go, this is exactly what we do in ballet. It's it's it, it's this it's the yeah. sinking, the rooting, um, uh, and because it's body mechanics. Yeah. There's still this, this yoga. It's all body mechanics. It's it's the body has a center of gravity. Uh, your thighs are your where your strength. Anyway, I, I sorry I could go. We had um, Dr. Leslie Crawford, who is the head of rheumatology at Vanderbilt last week, and we were asking her for tips on uh, things we can do to help with. Cog the cognitive effects of lupus, as well as chronic pain. And she said, uh, you know, I, there are lots of studies behind meditative movement. And a couple of people on the call said, Tai Chi. And she said, exactly. So, uh, you know, she could not have set us up better for this week. But, uh, I, you know, I think that I would like to add this to my da daily regimen do you recommend doing it first thing in the morning or you that's what you said while you uh brew your hot tea yeah that's i i do i so i i do um the eight i i get my tea going i do my knees i do the eight precious um and then i have breakfast and then depending upon what, what my day is like um if i'm at home if sometimes i'm going out i don't worry so one other thing i never stress about whether I'm going to do the form or not. I never, uh, like we, we get this, uh, so I had this rule years with Tom Wong said, you know, don't, don't only do when you want to do. Uh, yeah. so, and, and so I don't, um, but sometime during the day, you like, so if in the morning, I'm not going, I'm going to be working at home, then I'll do the form. Mm -hmm. I do the form three times uh, for mind, body and spirit just, and it takes me, the whole thing's about 20 minutes to do the form. And at some point I'd be glad to come back and do the form for you also. Oh, I, I wanted, I wanted to get, this eight press, eight eight pieces of I call it eight press, eight pieces of brocade, just because um, it's easy to do. It's so right. and it moves through your whole your whole body. Um, but uh, um, anyway, so I, I do the warm up always. Just I, I never miss the warm up just because I do it because it takes ten minutes and it's just I get that done. Um, and then I'll, then depending upon what my day is, uh, and then weekends, you know, I'll, I'll go out to the park with Bella and I'll do the form. I, I, there's nothing like doing it outside. And then I have some friends. We'll get together and, and do do the form together. Awesome, awesome. Well, and Tai Chi for dogs. That would certainly be uh, helpful for Aussies. Yeah, <laughs> she loves watching it. So, well, I know it's, it's seven o'clock. Is you're you're supposed to end and. Well, we're good. Does uh, Does anyone have any questions for Chip? I do. Is Is there a YouTube um, video of these moves? I'm going to put this video up, if that's okay, Chip. Absolutely, absolutely. 
Yeah. And, and Bernadette, is that Bernadette asking the question? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So also, um, I did, I was asked, um, um, St. Thomas Cancer Center reached out to Gilda's Club and asked if anybody was teaching Tai Chi because uh, they wanted to do a YouTube, um, uh, put a YouTube video up on their site. And I went over two weeks ago. It's not mm -hmm. finished yet, but they, but, but we did a video of, of, of the eight precious. So I'll get that to, as soon as that's live. Um, Laura wants me to look at it before it, it goes live. Um, and I'll get that to Tracy and you can have that link. So this, what we did tonight will be available to you. And then that will be available to you. Um, and, uh, uh, with, with the eight precious. That's that's fantastic. Thank you, Chip. Yep. All these uh, Nashville resources and and good connections coming in. Um, Chip was talking about the chakras and um, explaining a little bit about that. Would would anyone like to have a, a little bit of a deeper discussion of, of chakras? At some point, just you know, wave at me. I see some waves. Okay, we can we can work on that. Well, well, Chip, I will reach out to you and and see how many more wonderful things we can have you uh, have you do for us. But what? this is absolutely fantastic. Let's give uh, Chip <laughs> our Zoom ovation. Thank you so much. Well, th thank you. I, I just want to tell all of you that when I teach at Gilda's Club, um, everybody who shows up, and so I'm doing the same for all of you, um, got an A plus plus a gold star. On your on your grade today, just because you showed up, whatever happened for the hour that we did it, you added some more. So the mere fact that you gave yourself one hour um, to just move and breathe, you got a gold, you got a a, a plus in class today on your grade sheet. Plus, I, I'm giving you a gold star. And you remember that in fourth grade when you got that gold star from the teacher, how important that was. And so you, so I just want to, you know, just compliment all of you for taking this time to do this for yourself. Um, that, that's, that's how we heal. Um, so anyway.